Hey, what's up guys? If your system failed to boot, then stick around. In this video, I will show you how to rebuild boot configuration data on Windows 11. This can fix issues like boot manager is missing, UEFI boot failure, missing operating system entries, automatic repair loops, and a lot more. And if you're using an older legacy BIOS with MBR system, don't worry, I will add a separate guide in the pinned comment below. My name is Mazhar, and at Right Solution, I create tutorial for all you DIY people. Now, let's get started. Before you start dealing with the bootloader problem, you need to know whether your system uses legacy BIOS or UEFI. And you can do that from Windows if it still boots. And for that, press Windows key plus R and type here msinfo32 and hit enter. This will bring up a system information window. In here, look for BIOS mode. If BIOS is UEFI, then your disk partition scheme is GPT. If your BIOS mode shows legacy, then your disk partition scheme is MBR. And if you're using an older legacy BIOS on MBR system for that, I will add a separate guide in the pinned command of this video. So don't worry, you are covered there. And if your system is not bootable, then use Windows recovery environment. And don't worry, later in this video, I will show you how to get into the Windows recovery environment. Now, when you are in the recovery system, click on the troubleshoot and then click on advanced options. Now open command prompt and type here disk part and hit enter wait a few seconds now type list disk this should list all the disks attached to your system like i have disk zero in the last column where it says gpt if there is an asterisk that means it's a gpt disk and uses uefi boot system if you don't see an asterisk in this column then it is a legacy bias on mbr system now you have the essential information let us see how to get into the windows recovery environment there are multiple methods to boot your system into recovery environment if your system did not boot but end up showing a recovery screen with uh, some option to choose from read the options sometime a simple press of escape key will boot your system into the recovery environment or alternatively you can press enter to try one more time it may boot or you can just press F8 to go to the startup settings, but I will suggest to press escape and enter the recovery environment. Let's learn the method two in which we will force our system to boot into recovery environment. So press the button to turn on your system and as soon Windows logo appears, hold the power button to force shut down. And now once your system is off, turn your system again and as soon the Windows logo appears, hold the power button again to shut it down. Then power it again. Now on the third restart, window will enter into the recovery environment. And on this screen, click on troubleshoot and then advanced options. And on this page, you will find all your recovery tools. Before we proceed to the next method, I want to mention that some of you may encounter a different scenario. And that is when you enter the recovery environment, you click on the troubleshoot and on the next page, you expect the recovery tools, but you end up with the only one option and that is startup settings. This indicates that recovery options are disabled or missing in your system. And to deal with this and all the other scenarios, let us head to the method three. When all other methods fail, the last option to revive your system is to use a bootable USB. You can create a bootable USB from any PC running Windows 11, but in this guide, I will be using the Windows media creation tool. And for that, open the internet browser and in the search bar here, type Windows Media Creation Tool and hit enter. On this page, scroll and uh, look for the link from Microsoft as uh, this one says uh, download Windows 11 and open this link. On this page, scroll down to the section create Windows 11 installation media. Click on download button and a small file is already downloaded. Open that download folder. Double click on this media creation tool. Windows 11 setup will open. Accept the license terms here. And on this next page, select your language and your Windows edition if you need to change. If you are creating this USB from another computer, you can uncheck this box. I will keep it checked and then click on next. On this page, select USB flash drive option and insert a USB flash drive which should be at least eight gigabytes. I am using a 16 gigabytes of USB and when you're ready, click next. On this page, make sure you have selected the correct flash drive. If your USB drive not appeared yet, click on refresh drive list and select again and then click next. Setup will start to download the Windows image. The image is larger than five gigabytes. It will take some time. I will fast forward this video. Downloading completed. Now it is creating bootable media. Here we go. Your USB flash drive is ready. Click finished. Now in the Explorer window here, click on this PC and this ESD USB is your bootable media. Now that you have prepared bootable USB drive, insert this into a port on your computer and press the power button to turn the system on. 
Almost all the PCs allow you to press a boot menu or a hotkey during the startup. Press it repeatedly immediately after the turning on of your computer. I have collected a bunch of system manufacturers and their corresponding hotkeys. If yours not in the list, just Google it. Once the boot menu is loaded, identify and select your flash drive and press enter. But if your PC skips the USB and boot menu does not work, you need to change boot order in the BIOS. To enter BIOS, power on the system and press the BIOS key repeatedly. Most common keys used to enter BIOS are delete, F2 and F10 depending on the brand. Your motherboard may look different, but once inside BIOS, move your USB device to the top of the boot priority list. Also check settings and look for boot, boot configuration and USB boot and make sure enabled is selected. If you're using older system and it won't detect USB then, in some cases you may need to check advanced options then BIOS CSM and may need to change it to CSM for legacy boot. And don't forget to save before you exit. If by chance you are still presented with this BIOS utility, just go to the boot menu and bring removable devices to the top of the list and press F10 to save and exit. If you have used Windows bootable USB to enter Windows setup, you need to complete few extra steps before you enter in the recovery environment. On this uh, Windows setup page, select your language and uh, time and currency format. You can change it if you need, otherwise uh, click on next. On this page, select your keyboard and click next. And this is the page where you can select your setup options and instead of installing Windows 11, just click on repair my PC and click on next. On this page, select your keyboard layout. I will keep it US. And here we enter the recovery environment, click on troubleshoot and on this next page, click on advanced options and here we got all our tools. Whichever method brought you in Windows RE, the following procedure should be very similar. The first thing we need to do is to find out which partition contains the EFI files and Windows itself. Now click on this command prompt and type here disk part, oh, it's a one word so type again disk part and hit enter and on this uh, next line here type list disk and hit enter. We have only one disk listed as a disk zero, so let's select it, type SEL space disk space zero and hit enter. Disk zero selected, now type list volume and hit enter. In disk part, an EFI partition typically appears as system partition around 100 megabytes in size, but it can be up to 500 megabytes as well. And it is formatted with FAT32 file system. We can identify our volume two as EFI partition. And if this partition does not have a drive letter, then we will assign one. And for that, Type select volume 2 and hit enter. Volume 2 selected, now type assign space letter equal V. Hit enter and letter assigned. Let's verify and for that type list volume and hit enter. Here is our volume 2 with drive letter V. Now type exit to leave the disk part utility. To rebuild fresh boot configuration data, let's format EFI partition and for that type format space v colon space forward slash fs colon fat32 and hit enter. A warning message all the data on drive v will be lost to proceed press y for yes and a new prompt says volume label if you want to enter any enter otherwise hit enter for none. Format process completed let's find windows partition now. I am on a virtual machine and I know drive c with 63 gigabytes is my windows partition but you should verify by going in all the volumes one by one. So let's start with d type d colon and hit enter. It says the device is not ready because it is a virtual dvd-rom. Now type c colon and hit enter and now type d i r and hit enter. And here you can see this partition contains our Windows directory. Now let's rebuild the bootloader and for that enter this command. You can copy and paste this command and all the other commands I have used in this video from the description of this video. So the command is bcd boot space c colons slash windows space forward slash s space v. This is the drive letter you can change if you had given any other letter. So v colons space forward slash F space U E F I and hit enter. This copies fresh boot files and completely rebuilds the BCD. Now let's verify EFI directory and boot folder. And for that type V colon and hit enter. And now type D I R and hit enter. And now let's go into EFI directory for that type C D E F I and hit enter. Type D I R again and hit enter. This is our fresh boot directory which contains all the bootloading files. Let's go back to the drive C. So type C colons hit enter and now type exit to leave this utility. 
On this page, click on turn off your PC and wait until your system fully shuts down. Then press the power button to turn it on. Here your system is back to life. And now enter your password to enter Windows Desktop. And that's how you rebuild the bootloader on Windows 11 UEFI system. If your PC uses an older legacy BIOS with MBR, check the pin command. I have placed a step-by-step -step guide there. If this video helped, drop a like, share your experience in the comments, and subscribe. I will see you with next video.